everyone, my name is Ari Trooper and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install Legacy Fuel, a basic but really, really reliable and cool fuel script into your guys' 5M server. You do not need anything but Legacy Fuel, but if you guys do have ESX and you want it to work with ESX, for example, you have to pay per litre or gallon of fuel, then you can do so. It's pretty easy to set up. If you guys don't have ESX, don't worry. You can just drag and drop it in and it is as simple as that and it's pretty much the exact same for installing it with an ESX server as well. If you do have ESX and you don't want to pay for it, you can just not select the ESX option. It's really not that difficult, but all you guys are going to want to do is hit the first link down in the description below. That ring goes right here. Go to code and then download zip. And then once the zip is finished downloading, what you guys are going to want to do is open up the legacy fuel master folder. And you guys should be able to see within here is all of your basic script files. So to install this, all you guys are going to want to do is go back and find your GTA 5 server directory now if you installed it the same way that i showed how to install on one of my previous 5m installation tutorial videos then all you guys are going to do is go to your c drive or your d drive wherever you installed it go to fx server go to tx data then go to cfx default and then resources and then within here what you guys are going to want to do it kind of depends where you want to put this you can just put this as a standalone script and you don't have to put it in a subfolder if you guys aren't going to install any similar mods, there aren't really many similar mods, unless you guys did want to install it under cars. I'm just going to install it on its own because I don't think you can really group this into a category. So we're not going to worry about making a subfolder, which is basically having two brackets and inside of that being all of your base mods. So what you guys are going to want to do is grab this folder and rename it to just legacy fuel. So delete the master part and then drag and drop that into your resources folder. From here, it's pretty self-explanatory, like any other plugin. Copy and paste the exact name, including the capital letters, precisely. Go back to your CFX default folder. Open up your server.cfg folder with any word reading software. I'm going to put it under the car script for this, just so you can kind of somewhat group it. Otherwise, it might get a little bit confusing. And then I'm going to type in sure, and then control V, the legacy fuel name. And just like that, you've pretty much installed legacy fuel. All it is now, if you guys do have ESX, is going in to the config settings. I would also recommend following this if you guys don't have ESX. There might be a few options you want to configure yourself. Go back into the mods config settings to so go back to resources. Go back into legacy fuel and open up the config.lua. And then when you guys are inside of here, you can see there's quite a few things you can enable and disable. So if you guys are using ESX, you can keep this as true. If you're not, you can change this to false. And then that will mean it will not try and charge you money, etc. If you guys obviously are, then keep it true, like I said. But here you can configure the settings as you wish. If you don't have enough money, you can kind of do different things. You can also change what key it is to refuel. So from default, it's E, which is pretty useful. The only thing that goes over the top of that is your horn, but that really doesn't that matter that much. And obviously here you can configure the cost as well if you guys are using ESX. But other than that, you can hit save, close out of here, and now we'll load into our server and I'll show you guys how to use the mod. Simply drive around to your fuel pump, obviously making sure that you don't absolutely obliterate, you wanna drive into the side of them, and wait until that little little menu pops up here, exit the vehicle to refuel. So we'll exit out this side because for some reason our character cannot get out of this side. And then we'll literally just go near our vehicle and near the gas pump and literally hit E to refuel. And then just like that, you guys should be able to see that the percentage right in the center of the car is going up for our fuel, which obviously means that our fuel is increasing. Obviously, guys, if this hits zero, then your car will pretty much not work. It kind of stop spluttering and stuff like that. That's part of the mod. If you guys do want to disable that, all you guys got to do is set your vehicle to God mode and then your fuel will stop going down. And you can also refill your fuel within the V menu settings as well. That is a default thing it comes with. So if you guys do run out of fuel and it is a pain in the ass sometimes, you can always use V menu or just put your vehicle to God mode. And there is no issue with that whatsoever. So I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also check out the channel sponsor, Zap Posting at www.zapposting.com and use code Highway Trooper, no capitals or spaces for 20% off all of your server hosting needs. That is from Minecraft all the way down to 5M. If you want to get a Red M server, those are there as well. So be sure to check them out. Use code Highway Trooper 
And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.